as we get set for pitch one of game three. And he drilled his first batter. Wow. An ominous start for Jack Caglione as he drills Beloso in the back. Sneakers right now. Set up outside, and he got him. Boy, what a bounce back here from Caglione after drilling Beloso. And that's after the changeup, and the changeup from a swing and miss standpoint is actually his best pitch. Slider away here, or you just go back to your heat on a 2-2. Wow, he buckled him down. He went swinging at one on his fists again. Jack Caglione hits the first guy and then finds another gear. He hung one, that ball is ripped down the line and left. Is it enough? Yes, it is. Wow. Wyatt Langford is scalding hot. It's 2-0 Gators. He is now six for his last six with two homers and eight ribbies, and that's a hanging breaking ball. And it is a yeah, pointed fair, Wyatt. Pointed fair for the folks. A bomb to left field. And the Gators just keep it rolling. Yeah, he went and elevated again. And that's a punch out of Jack Caglione. Dugas at third. Joe Bear at first. And he delivers. Jordan Thompson. His second hit in Omaha. It plates Dugas. And listen to the crowd in a 2-1 game. And he hit him on the arm. Second time he's been hit. That brings in a run, and this game is tied. We go again. He hits it hard. That's in the hole. That's good. That brings in Pearson. Malasso puts the brakes on. White's got a six RBI. And the LSU Tigers lead it by two. Third of the plate for sure. Got in on his hands a little, but not a ton. Anywhere even on the infield. Here's one on the infield, and that's going to be an infield hit. It rolls through to the outfield. Another run comes in. Dugas, a two-out, two-strike RBI. 6-2 Tigers. Ooh, and he threw a wicked breaking pitch. Second strikeout. Mission accomplished. A wicked curveball from Thatcher Hurd. Picks up two punches in the inning. He's got three in the game. Also going to get through a bat without getting punked. Strikes out. Slider's good, especially against lefties. And... Walter Curland and then Langford. And this one is driven to left center field. Cruz is going back. He's still going back. Waves at the wall and makes the play. Oh, what a catch by Dylan Cruz at the wall. The confidence to take your eye off the baseball just so you know exactly where you are. Right down the middle at the knees. Heard punches out his fourth of the night. And this one is pulled down the line. He's running. It's going to get down. And off the wall. Fielded by Evans. Throw to second. Diving in with a double. Braden Jobert. That one was right down the middle. That's a terrible hop over Halter. And a huge break for the Tigers. As the run scores, Jobert's in. Down to second goes Thompson. And everything that went wrong for Thompson yesterday is going right for him today. This one's hit hard, don't get me wrong, but it, it's hit right at Coley Alter, and it hits just in front of that lip. It goes straight up. One, two, this ball smacked to right field. It is over the wall! Josh Pearson blasts off. And the Tigers are putting it to the Gators. Incredible the way the bottom of this order has gotten it hot. A fastball down and out over the plate. And Josh Pearson, a 21-degree rocket into the right center field seats. Three runs in the inning. And a 3-2 with a runner going. And this one is into right field. That's going to get down. Malazzo will head to third. They'll put the... He's being wound. Here's the throw. He is in there. The left foot got the bag. The 10th run 
for the Tigers. And let's hope he's okay. It was an awkward, awkward step at home. And that foot hit the bag, and he's grabbing that ankle. We just saw there and Singer and Kolar. And that's another strikeout for her. His breaking pitch is just wicked tonight. Looking for punch out six. He's allowed only two hits, and her delivers. Punch and he got it. Cade Curlin frozen pizza at the plate. It's 10 2. We got. They got six and one, four in the other, and he is gone on a sinker down. One, two, Travinsky. That's a good pitch. Ooh, he got him there. A wicked breaking pitch. Caglione is out. Yobert is gone with a strikeout first out of the seventh. Swing and a miss there. And Jordan Thompson retired second straight strikeout. Nesbitt with a good little bounce back. Tyler Nesbitt's been really good, man. I mean, this is exactly what, what Florida needed if they're going to have any chance, obviously. This one driven to right, fairly deep. Joe Bear, he's at the wall. He'll leap. And did he catch it? No, it is over the wall for a homer. He came really close. But it's a home run and another one for Ty Evans. What an effort. That's the most home runs in by one player in the history of the College World Series. Anybody has ever had the best from a power standpoint, a changeup that just kind of hangs out over the plate and Ty Evans just enough. Joe Bear gets to the wall. What's oh, in his glove? This one is to the gap and here we got a chance to see Cruz run. This is screaming triple. And he is motoring. And he is in there with a head first dive for a triple. Dylan Cruz. At the next level. Go ahead and cap it off kid. Just cap off a legendary career. He had a double at the box in his last at bat in Baton Rouge and now a triple in what will likely be his last at bat as a Tiger. Not slow down. <laughs> there it is. And that is another RBI. Cruz will come on in. White with that obscene 680, now like 690 batting average when Cruz is on base, delivers the 12th run for the Tigers. This wasn't what people were expecting from LSU to start this postseason. Yeah, right field, Curlin, and exit stage right. He got into that thing, and it flew out in a hurry. The freshman takes Guidry to the pen. That's number 17 on the year, and this one, this one wasn't even close. Now, how about getting below a fastball down and away? Heads up, Mr. Skeen. And the team might let it play itself out. White, that's a fair ball. That's past the dive of the third baseman, Halter. Cruz is not stopping. He's coming home. He'll score. White into second. 15 to 4. The LSU Tigers. Flashing the Gators. Thing right here down the line. I mean, he peaks. No, we're not peeking anymore. He pulled up just for a minute. Thought maybe he was going to get the stop sign. Did not. Uh, or a player that has scored 100 and driven in 100. Keep it going here. This one goes all the way to the wall. And another double for Trey Morgan. 16 to 4. It doesn't mean the world ended. It means the game ended. That one will tie the record, and Joe Bear has blasted another. 18 runs for the Tigers. And when Braden Joe Bear gets on a roll, we are witnessing it tonight. That is an incredible run from one conference. since 2009 and seventh overall the Tigers can say we are champions.
Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.